we are getting ready to make a charcoal poultice out of activated charcoal. So I have here some charcoal. And you can see that. It's always good to mix it in a glass jar. It changes the chemistry if you use like aluminum or stainless steel. And then I'm going to use a little bit of water. So what I'm going to do is... I should have had this ready. I'm going to take some charcoal. About a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And then I'm going to mix in a little bit of water. You don't want to do too much at a time. You want the consistency kind of like peanut butter. And be careful when you stir this because this stuff can poof out and it stains very much. It can stain your clothing. Okay, so it's almost the consistency we want, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this. You take a paper towel this size and on the top portion I'm going to spread it out and I'm just going to mix. Can you grab me one of those rubber spatulas in there? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to just spread all of this out. It's really being stubborn right now. So, and you can use more than this if you want, if you're working on a larger surface area. But let's say you got bit by a mosquito. Or let's say your hand is swollen. One time my granddaughter, she um, got her hand slammed in the door. As soon as we put this on her hand, and you want to put the wet side, immediately the pain went away. So what you would do is you would put this over the area, then we would wrap it with plastic saran wrap and then an ace bandage. And you would leave this on overnight. And you can use this for inflamed areas, painful joints, um, areas that have inflammation over the liver, over the stomach. If someone has a fever, you put make more than this, you would put it over the stomach and then put a hot water bottle on top. If you're putting this on top of any organ, always put a hot water bottle and then a towel on top of that to keep the heat in. Okay, you can use charcoal poultices for ant bites, snake bites, uh, black widow and recluse bites, but when it's a snake bite or a recluse spider or a black widow, you want to change it every 20 minutes for the first six hours. And then every 30 minutes for the next four hours. And then every hour for the next 24 hours. Because you want to draw out all the poison. If you leave it on too long, the poison will go back into the uh, surface area. So just go to charcoalremedies.com. You can learn a lot about activated charcoal. You could take it by mouth. I'll show you how to make a charcoal slurry next time. But this stuff is wonderful. If you were using a hammer and you hit your hand, if you have arthritic pain, um, if your hand is bruised or swollen, you put this over it, wrap it, and then um, that's how you do it. Okay, so until we meet again, may the good Lord bless and keep you.